boys to at approximately 10 a.m. this morning, dude. I woke up on four hours of sleep. Listen, man, I'm not even trolling, dude. Yesterday, I was up till goddamn 6 a.m. recording a video, bro. Not even lying. But anyways, that is besides the point. Because as you guys can see, I got a message on Discord. And my man told me that I absolutely had to see this, okay? As you guys can see right there. And the video is titled, The Full Story of Mini Bloxia. Now, I actually have no clue whether or not this video is actually good. And if it's not, you guys are probably never going to see this video. In this video, I cover the entire history of his main and first channel. His TikTok, his Twitch, and just everything even going back to 2004. Yo, what? Yo, that's like goddamn 18 years ago. This man thinks he knows me when I was born. But anyways, we're going to react to this video right now. The full story of Mini Bloxia. Let's see it. Did you know that Mini Bloxia actually started YouTube back in 2016? Or Bro, I made a video on that like 10 years ago. Reacting to my first ever YouTube videos. Look at me, bro. I look like a smexy man right there. And then you got my brother looking like a weirdo. <laughs> Yo, why is he peeking over my shoulder like that, dude? That dude looks crazy. Well, Jeremiah Sanchez, more commonly known as Mini Blotsia. Yo, did he just call me Jeremiah Sanchez, bro? What? Literally nobody on the planet calls me my real name. Nobody in real life calls me my real name. Nobody on YouTube calls me my real name. Nobody online calls me my real name. Not even my grandma calls me my real name, okay? My man is doxing my name, dude. What are we gonna do? We all know how doxing is, am I right, boys? <laughs> has risen to the top of the Roblox Bed Wars scene in a very short amount of time. So uh, now we'll cover I his guess. accomplishments, dramas, and growth to truly see how did we get here. Hey, bro, it was a long time ago, dude. I'm trying to get a refresher as well. And if my voice sounds a little bit weird, okay? It's literally because I was up till 6 a.m. screaming. Not even lying. <laughs> so if we really want to go to the very beginning, we have to travel back in time to the 1st of December, 2004. When the Jeremiah 1st of December, 2004. Okay, yeah, that was when I was born. Sanchez was born <laughs> in New Mexico, U.S. Yo, what is that picture, dude? I got buck teeth out here, bro. I'm looking like a goddamn elk in the middle of the forest. That is insane, bro. My hat is longer than my goddamn face, man. That is insane. I legit have elf ears smaller than a goddamn box of nerds. That is insane. Say. Okay, well, maybe that's a little too far back. So let's skip to that May 22nd far. of 2016. When the 11-year-old Jeremiah created his first YouTube channel named, well, Jeremiah Sanchez. Very creative, I know. That was the most creative channel name I ever could have done. W name, little man. However, all he posted were videos about first-person shooter games like Call of Duty. Sometimes including random videos like the iconic getting attacked by a pit <laughs> Bro, that video is so funny. Oh my god. I'm literally getting attacked by a pit bull. Good view special. Jeremiah Sanchez here, and in today's video, we're gonna oh. I look so young, dude. I have like a baby face and all that, bro. Look at my cheek, dude. It's goddamn smoother than a, a baby's bottom. Like, not even trolling. <laughs> nah, but he is definitely right. I literally just posted Call of Duty videos because that was my favorite game at the time. And then sometimes I'd record random events like goddamn getting attacked by a pit bull. I went to my stepdad's house that day and I literally recorded like three videos, bro. Including this one. <laughs> I recorded both of those videos on the same day, okay? As you guys can see, I have the same shirt on as I did in the getting attacked by the pit bull. And the same hat as well. My stepdad gave me that hat, dude. W man. But that channel was quite short-lived as he sadly quit a few weeks later in June. Wait, really? Just a few weeks later I quit? Yo, that's crazy. <laughs> so I guess he wasn't growing fast enough. All right, I actually quit that channel not because I wasn't growing fast enough, but because I literally started an entirely different one. Most people think that all of my OG videos are only on this channel right here. Guys, I'm telling you this right now. If you go to the live section right here, I literally made so many videos talking about my new account. I said that I was switching accounts, and then I gave some info about it. And then, uh, yeah, I switched switched accounts <laughs> because listen man these were the most random videos on the planet okay i got getting attacked by a pit bull on there i had like a bunch of call of duty videos and i just wanted to start fresh so i started an entirely new channel and it was called the wizard of cod and if you guys couldn't tell i literally just posted call of duty videos on there all right not only that i did like gta 5 i did like minecraft bro i did so many games on that channel it was actually insane i had over 300 videos on there bro 300 and then uh randomly when i turned like 14 bro i decided to delete it all 300 videos filled with memories all gone and literally at one click i'm being dead cheeks when i say this okay that is probably my biggest regret in life i was on the top of the leaderboards and like call of duty and stuff like that i was on like top call of duty plays yes! i literally turned into a professional gamer okay and that would be the end of the story but he ended up starting streaming on twitch at an unknown date sadly because we know pretty much nothing about that we'll just skip a few years to 2021 <laughs> yeah nobody really knows this but i used to stream on twitch i'm honestly even surprised that he knew that i've only told people like on stream and stuff like that 
But if we go to my Twitch channel right here, okay? I'm going to show you guys some old clips, okay? You guys are going to get an in-depth look on old me. <laughs> I literally used to just stream islands for like four hours a day, bro. I'm not even trolling. Sometimes even eight hours. It was insane. So this clip right here is titled Professional Jailbreak Player. Bro, when I first found out about Jailbreak, I was playing that like every single day. And as you guys can see, that is that is actually me. <laughs> bro, that is literally my old house. Do you guys remember when I first face revealed I had all like those black curtains? Yeah, that was in this room right here. And as you guys can see, I literally have the worst background ever. I have a goddamn white dresser with some goddamn yellow walls with some dirty carpet and some blue goddamn blinds. So when I started using face cam inside of my videos, I literally had to revamp the entire room. I changed all of the curtains to black. I turned my entire desk around to face the wall. And then I just recorded videos, dude, just like that. Look at this clip, bro. I had a mustache and everything. I, it's still growing back, you know what I'm saying? But that was literally when I was like 15 to 16. That must taste delicious. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, it does. Wow. Oh, yeah, it does. <laughs> Very delicious. Thank you very much, DK. Okay, I'm a little bit confused, though. Why was I 15 in this clip? And I sound the exact same. <laughs> like, bro, what? Yo, what is my voice doing to me, dude? It's supposed to be God ain't growing. I still sound like a 15-year-old, bro. That's crazy. <laughs> But yes, that was my official Twitch channel that I streamed on for like six months. And then I stopped because I was not growing on Twitch, bro. It's really hard to grow on Twitch when you're doing Roblox. There's like a cap at how many viewers you could get. When he traded his TikTok account, which later acted as a cap a few years to 2021, when he traded his TikTok account, which later acted as a catalyst to his growth on YouTube. Because because he promoted his channel on there. Dang, this man actually knows about the TikTok account. That's crazy. How are you guys finding this stuff out, bro? I barely talk about this stuff. But if you guys could tell, my username on Twitch has always been Mini Fat. And that has dead cheeks been my name for around like 10 years, okay? That's because my grandma actually gave me that nickname. And then she made it my PlayStation Gamer Tag. So instead of people calling me Mini Fat, everyone on the planet would just call me Mini for short. So I ended up sticking with Mini. And then I was like, all right, I also play Roblox. So let me do Mini Bloxia. And that was when the name got birth okay i made this tiktok account right here i slapped a goddamn block on a color gradient and i called it a day for some reason he did end up deleting his videos on the platform now it's yeah i actually deleted all my videos on tiktok because uh they were definitely cringe bro i literally got to 100,000 followers on tiktok in literally three days okay not even lying i made a video about the scariest accounts on roblox i did like a documentary it was like a 30 second video and it got like 3 million views and i got 100k followers like instantly from it and then i made a youtube channel i started promoting the youtube channel a little bit it didn't really do a lot because i only got like 270 subscribers from the entire tiktok thing and then when i uploaded my first video i only got like 100 views in like three days it was pretty crazy <laughs> now it's june 17th when he created his now main channel mini blotsia which was only 20 days after the creation of the very game he played yup i created that channel as soon as roblox battle wars came out bro i'm not even lying when i first played roblox battle wars it was actually the craziest experience ever because i didn't have minecraft but i knew about minecraft battle wars and i wanted to play it so bad but like i said i didn't have minecraft because i was broke not even trolling <laughs> and on the 20th of june that year he posted his first video to titled the funniest game on roblox Ro okay it's the funnest not the funniest but all right bro roblox bed wars it didn't immediately do amazing only gaining 84 views in the first three days told but it you was the start of something great posting again four days later then again on june 11th with a video that many people would call his big break okay the video that people would call my big break was this video right here how to win every solo game in roblox bed wars as soon as i posted that video dude in like a day it got 50,000 views bro i actually have no clue how all of my previous videos before that barely broke like 300 views and then this one right here that i uploaded got 50,000. and yeah i pretty much boosted all my other videos and then my videos after that it all stemmed from this video right here okay this video right here changed literally everything yo why is this man in the comments snitching right now his first video was about adopt me lol he seems to have deleted yes. it bro what the flippers is adopt me dude i've never played that game in my life totally what? wasn't my first video bro definitely not <laughs> listen man adopt me was really popular at the time so i thought that was the only way i could grow and then actually boys the only reason why i left adopt me was actually because of this guy right here spec this man's first video on his channel got 100k views and it was on bed wars so as soon as i saw that i was like yo what i'm gonna start posting roblox bed wars and then yeah so basically spec is the entire reason why i started posting roblox bed wars 
almost 50,000 views in the first month. And the videos after that were not different. All gaining tens of thousands of views, then hitting 10,000 subscribers on July 31st, hitting 50k less than a month later, and finally getting to 100k subscribers. Hey, bro. 100k was crazy. I remember this moment, dude. Just hit 100k, no cap. Bro, I cried that day, man. I was sitting there in bed. I was like, I was tearing up, dude. I was like, god dang, bro. That's crazy. <laughs> exactly 90 days after making his channel. He later w? did technically his second face reveal for reaching the milestone, which also happened to be his first time on the trending page. Bro, that thing was literally on trending. I remember that too. My face reveal was trending on YouTube. Not trending for gaming. Literally trending. It was insane. Reaching number 23. He was trending 24-7 to pursue his YouTube dream. He yes, sir. In a video he was recording at 3 a.m. to cover an update. 3 a.m. Okay, 20 degrees in my house, dude. I'm talking like Antarctica cold. Bro, 3 a.m. That is rookie numbers compared to last night. I w I'm being dead serious, man. I was up till 6 a.m. last night, bro. It was not a fun time. <laughs> December 5th of 2021, he would finally make his second channel called Mini Blossom, True. where he posted and still post Pet Simulator X videos. Okay, I'm gonna be honest, bro. Right now, I don't even know what to do with my second channel, dude. I'm actually at a goddamn standstill with that channel right now, bro. I haven't really been posting on it recently. And then exactly one month later, he got his star code on Roblox. Then he made three new channels. Bro, it took so long to get that star code, dude. It took so long. And then March of 2022 was something he said in a stream that almost ruined his entire career in a No! Not my entire career, dude. Bro, I remember when I first heard about this drama, dude. Bro, I thought it was the dumbest thing on the planet, dude. Literally all of my friends were just laughing about it when it first came out. But then when everybody started believing it, then it was like, yo, we're not laughing no more, bro. Yo, this is serious. <laughs> YKM Master Stream. It sounded like he said a derogatory word and everyone thought he did at first that is true especially this one youtuber named horseman dan bro to this day that man is the goofiest dude on the planet <laughs> later on the drama got so bad and minnie's channel was getting so much hate he had to release a half hour video addressing the okay first of all why my face look like that dude that thumbnail is insane dude what, the, what is the texture right there <laughs> okay getting so much hate was kind of insane i wouldn't say i was getting like so much hate i was just getting like a decent amount because literally five months after the situation happened bro this man made another video literally five months later and then all of a sudden people started talking about it and i was like bro do i really have to make this video dude do i really that was my first 30 minute video on the channel and now i made another 30 minute video on an e-date and that e-date was fire <laughs> it's basically denying all the allegations against them True. i honestly really don't know who was in the right in that situation you don't know who was in the right huh who cares about that he just moved into a multi-million dollar house in florida bro did that man just say multi-million yo Yo, you're gonna need to remove the multi in that thing, bro. Multi-million is crazy, bro. If it was multi-million, that thing would be like four floors. I'll be in the middle of goddamn California. Instead, we're in a goddamn old person neighborhood in the middle of Orlando, Florida. Making two videos about it in December of the same year. Yes, sir. I'm still here to this day. As if Jeremiah wasn't rich enough. On March 8th. Whoa, did he just call me Jeremiah? That's crazy. He released a real plushie for $30, which got sold out quite quickly. Now bro, for real. I appreciate everyone who bought that plushie, man. I, you guys actually made my day when that happened. Like, obviously, when I released the plushie, I have to pay for the plushies. I have to pay for, like, the shipping and all that. I have to pay for the designs, the warehouse space. So, in general, I didn't really make that much. But just knowing that you guys all bought one is absolutely insane, man. You guys are crazy, bro. I love you guys so much, dude. You're lucky I don't go into that camera and give you guys a smooch right now. Yo, what? Okay, that's crazy. Only for hot. Wait, what? <laughs> Yo, scratch that. Thousand subscribers and averages about 150k views a video, making probably around 15k a month. But according to this comment he made on my old video, he makes, and I quote, $3 billion a year, what you mean? Bro, I would 100% make $3 billion a year, dude. What are you talking about? I have Lamborghinis, I have Bugattis, I have I have literally everything on the planet. Okay, trust. I 100% was not stressing about the price of my goddamn dog kennel that I bought yesterday. <laughs> totally not. Which concludes the entire history of Mini Blotsia. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, that was a really W video, boys. I'm gonna leave a like, I'm gonna leave a comment. Uh, I'm just gonna comment W on the, my second channel. But yeah, boys, that is the basic story about it everything one day i'll do a draw my life where i explain like literally everything but that's probably for a, a subscriber milestone possibly for 700k so if you guys want to see that make sure you guys subscribe and yeah boys i just want to give a big thank you to everyone who supported me over this time man bro it warms my heart every single time when i see you guys in the community dude you guys have dead cheeks changed my life man literally that exact month where i started youtube bro my entire household was basically struggling okay we were behind on rent the gas and water were getting shut off we had to ask people for money bro i'm telling you right now dude we were in a really bad situation 
nothing, dude. My grandma was like working at Walmart. She was spending like 10 hours a day over there. I was sitting in my house alone at the time when I was dating Opradia. I couldn't even like take her out to eat or anything like that. I remember going to school in the morning, standing at the bus stop and literally seeing my neighborhood's gas company coming in a van to park in front of my house to turn off the gas because we literally couldn't afford it, dude. We were unwillingly taking goddamn cold showers out here, man. I'm not even trolling. And you guys have 100% changed my life, man. And I appreciate you guys. Now come here and give me that smooch that I was talking about. Okay, what? That is crazy, bro. Okay, I need to end the recording, bro. What am I doing with my life? <laughs> Everyone subscribe.